This is Herb Haddon for the Continuing Church of God. Judas had the purse. John 13, 29. The King James Version quoted throughout. For some of them thought because Judas had the bag that Jesus had said to him, buy those things that we have need of against the feast or that he should give something to the poor. Judas was the first treasurer when Jesus started teaching about the kingdom of God. Here in God, here in Canada, I am the treasurer for the continuing church of God in Canada. I don't feel I'm in the best of company. Being treasurer here in Canada is a volunteer position that I take seriously. You may ask, how are my tithes and offerings spent? My answer, I don't know. What do you mean, you don't know? Let's turn to Malachi 3, verse 8. Will a man rob God? Yet you have robbed me. But you say, wherein have we robbed you? In tithes and offerings. You see, the tithes and offerings are not yours. They're God's. Are you robbing God? Are you a thief? When your taxes are due, Revenue Canada is ready with hands out to receive them. They demand payment. Back taxes are not exempt and penalties are added for non-payment. They will even garnish your wages until payment's made. In full, even in death, you can't escape the taxes. They have to be paid. With God, it's not the same. Your past can be forgiven. God will judge you on what knowledge you now have. Let's turn to Luke 3, verse 8. Luke 3, verse 8. Bring forth therefore fruits worthy of repentance, and begin not to say within yourselves, We have Abraham to our father. For I say unto you that God is able of these stones to raise up children unto Abraham. God could raise up stones to do his work. He has chosen to work with you and with me. Do you want to know who God is leading to do this end time work and where to send His tithes and offerings? Then get on your knees. Prayerfully, sincerely, and humbly ask God to show you. Then, Send his ties to these addresses. In Canada, Continuing Church of God, P.O. Box 344, Harvey Station, New Brunswick, Canada, E6K 3W9. Or you can go to the internet at www.ccogcanada.ca Press the Donations tab. PayPal is available and also e-transfers have been set up. In the United States and everywhere else in the world, send God's tithes and offerings 
to Continuing Church of God, 1036 Grand, West Grand Avenue, Grover Beach, California, USA, 93433. Or on the internet, go to www.ccog.org. Press the donation tab. PayPal and other methods of payment are set up for you to use. Now you know where God is working. Are you ready to send God's tithes and offerings where they belong? Will you rob God? Quite possibly, your eternity is at stake. 1 Kings 18, 21. Let's turn over there. 1 Kings 18, 21. And Elijah came unto all the people and said, How long halt you between two opinions? If the Lord be God, follow him. But if Baal, then follow him. So what are God's tithes and offerings from Canada used for? They help us fund the printing and distribution of books and booklets to teach about the coming kingdom of God. God's money from Canada has been sent to Malawi, Ghana, Kenya, and Haiti to further the preaching of the gospel. Also, money has been provided to Africa and Haiti to assist the brethren there to help fund the feasts of God for clean water, for food, and other necessities. God is setting up his final end time work. If God is calling you, then join us. You may want to read our free booklet, Is God Calling You? All our material is free and available at the ccog.org website. Just press the books and booklets tab. Matthew 6, 21. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. I take my volunteer position as treasurer for God's work here in Canada quite seriously. Often I'm reminded of who has gone before me. You see, Judas had the purse. This is Herb Haddon for the Continuing Church of God.